I really appreciate and really have a pleasure to invite Henry as the CEO of the company who made the paper out of rock. Uh, it's not like a simple rock, it's like uh, the, the West rock. Uh, you know, when you do some mining, whatever in your country, usually you will have some west uh, rock, which you cannot make any good use of it. And people usually throw it away, and it will be a um, some kind of a solid west. But uh, Henry figured out a way to make it into a product, which is paper. And when he did that, the paper he made out of rock is much more eco-friendly. So it's a really incredible thing, to be honest with you. And also, he is uh, selected and they, uh, won the prize of the top 10 high-quality product in Taiwan. So he is a really good entrepreneur. His product is really famous. And uh, we really have a pleasure to invite him here today to share about his products. And I hope that uh, a lot of uh, our leaders here can really hear about uh, what he is doing. And he is happy to share those with everyone here. So if you feel free, uh, ask some question after you finish this. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Leo. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Henry, and it is with my great pleasure to introduce you the waterproof boxes and notebooks made from stone. So our material have won certification from Kiwa, Taiwan, Taiwan Excellence, Red Dot Award, Cradle Cradle, and Energy Glow. So the paper that we use daily carries many sacrifices. Uh, some of these include damaging the water resource and soil, damage habitation, global warming, as well as the water pollution and air pollution from the wood pulp paper mills are affecting our environment. In Canada, it is actually the third highest air water emission industry. In the US, it's ranked number six. In the globe, it is the fifth highest energy consumption industry. So here today we have a solution that we use 80% stone powder, it can be from mineral waste, and 20% HDPE, which we use as a glue. This can, this can also be a recycled HDPE. So with 80% stone powder and 20% glue, we are able to make a material that is durable and waterproof. So our whole production process does not need to cut trees and do not need to use water and we have, don't need to use the strong base acid or bleach. So our solution is uh, environmental friendly alternative. Every ton of stone paper we can actually save 20 trees and we can also reduce 390 kilograms of CO2e. So this is very important uh, for our ESG. And we can also reduce and save 28 tons of water with every ton of stone paper. So out of the 17 SDGs, we contribute to 8 SDGs goals. And these range from the zero halogen, reduced water usage, we also use solar energy, sustainable operation, reduce needed resources, carbon neutral, protect ocean ecosystem, as well as preserve the forest ecosystem. So we have SGS reports that show that we are compliant in photodegradable, halogen free, OHS, rich heavy metal and FDA standards. So the global market demand for paper is about 400 million tons every year and our current stone paper market share is less than one percent so there is a very strong market potential and to reach our target of five percent market share we need to build about 100 standard mass production factories which will be about 200,000 tons per year production for each factory in order to satisfy the demand so in terms of the market opportunity, we can see that the pulp paper usage has been increasing from 1992 even till to 2018. And the increasing, the highest growth is in packaging paper. 
So newspaper textbooks, those has been quite stable or have been reducing, but packaging paper has been the highest growth mover. And this is due to our online shopping exploding, resulting annual growth of paperboard and paper boxes. So here we can see the packaging and cover paper demand is about 200 million tons every year. That means out of the 400 million tons, it's taken about half of the paper market. And in terms, as, as an example, for Taiwan in 2018, the paper production is about 4.25 million tons. And the consumption usage of paper is about 4.34 million tons. Out of the 4.34 million tons, about 2.8 million tons, 66%, is in carton, boards, and corrugated paper. So here we can see that, the, again, corrugated cartons or paper is taking more than 50% of the market. So in terms of the Taiwan market, the average paper consumption per person is 74 kilograms per year. And we have about 23 million people in Taiwan. So if everyone changed to one carton box, around 400 grams, we can save 9,540 tons of paper every year. So that means approximately we can save 190,000 trees, 270,000 tons of water, and 3,700 tons of CO2, all in, all in just one year. And together, globally, we have 7.9 billion people. So if everyone changed to one carton box, again, 400 uh, grams only, we can save around 3 million tons of paper every year. That means for a small change, we can approximately save 60 million trees, 84 million tons of water, and 1 million tons of CO2, all in just one year, just for everyone changing to use one carton box. So here we have a wide range of application. Our stone composite material, here we call stone paper, can also enter the pulp paper market, synthetic paper market, as well as the special paper market. And in each different market, our value is different. So for example, in a waterproof stone corrugated material, here we can make uh, carton boxes that is three plies or five plies, same as pulp paper. And here, our waterproof stone corrugated material can make into food grade boxes. So here, the chicken, duck, fish, meat, seafood, and vegetable refrigerated and freezer boxes all need waterproof feature. So for example, the corrugated boxes for the frozen products in Kaohsiung port, one of Taiwan's ports, the Pacific Salvary, needs 15 million boxes of waterproof corrugated box every year. The 15 million boxes translate to about 10,000 tons of corrugated cardboard uh, boxes. And here, in a food grade box, will be lower cost, a simpler production process, as well as recyclable. So here we see that in a carton paper, or a pulp paper carton, here the pulp paper carton board, to be waterproof, they need to add wax or varnish, and then make into a box. But since it is waterproof with a wax layer, so once it's recycled or back into a recycling stream, it's very difficult to extract the fiber from the waxed box. So usually, these wax box will be treated the same thing as the laminated paper, which is filtered out and then burned for energy instead. So it's very difficult to extract the fiber. In terms of the stone composite material, here we don't need to have the wax or varnish. And we make into a box, and the box can be recycled back into our facility to make into the composite board again, and then make into a box. So here, our, without the wax stage or the extra process, our paper is actually, or our box is much better in terms for the recycling stream. So together, when we look at recycling, we can, if everyone changed to one carton box, again, 400 grams, we can save 3 million tons of paper. 
That means again we can save 60 million entries, 84 million tons of water, as well as 1 million tons of CO2, all in just one year. And meaning the recycling, uh, recycling times, number of times for recycle. So you see that once we keep on recycling, we can have a N multiplier effect. And here, if we look at when we reuse our boxes, if we reuse our box, again, we can save 3 million tons of paper, but we can also save 60 million N trees every year, 84 million N tons of water, as well as 1 million N tons of CO2, all in just one year. The N being the number of times for reuse. So here the reuse is, can contribute a much bigger effect than being recycling. So here with a waterproof and durable box, that, mean, that means we can reuse over and over again, much more times. So besides the boxes, we also make uh, the notebooks, which range from a small passport size notebook to A6, A5, and even our anti theft stone binder. In the US, we have online channels with the Gadget Flow, Touch of Modern, Zulili. In Taiwan, we have Taiwan Excellence. So we, have different, we work with different platforms and have our products on these notable platforms. In terms of the international media, we have, we have been featured on the BBC News, Germany, Gal Yellow, also as well as CNBC and the Fox News. So it's really made from stone. So if we roll out our paper and light it up with a lighter, and we see that the fire keeps burning, but once we lift it vertically, you'll slowly stop burning. And if we put the ash in the ashtray and crush the ash, we can actually see that it's mostly powder. There's no fiber in our paper. So here, after burning, we see that most of the residue is actually powder, which is the mineral. Our paper is naturally white. This is because that we use uh, stone waste, especially for marbles. So in terms of marbles, these are naturally white that we can use. And the white is very good for printing. So it's very good for showing the different color contrasts. Uh, in terms of corrugated cardboards, of course, we can use uh, many other mineral colors. Yeah, so we don't have to have uh, white paper. Boxes are not definitely all, always white, but the whiter paper will definitely give a better value to our paper because it has a better color contrast. And here we can see that our paper is waterproof. When there's a droplet of water, it actually stays on the paper rather than absorbing through, unlike the pulp paper. We are also one of the most smoothest paper on the market. So our Roughness is about two to three times less than our competitors. That means we are much more smoother than our competitors. We have a wide range of applications and corporate gifts for that can satisfy SDGs or CSR companies. As here you can see, we in our stone paper exhibitions, uh, we are very popular, not just with the students, but also with a lot of buyers. So we have exploded booth all the time. And then this is uh, very, we get very good interest from the market and the population. This is because we can value add, enhance the corporate image and maximize advertising. So this is very good. Our Imstone brand is very good in the premium gifts market because we create a unique deep impression, giving that corporate brand and image a more memorable image. And we also have economic gifts such as the paper bags. The paper bags can be reused over and over again. So that means the advertiser or the brand can maximize its advertising dollars, showing its brand in front of its consumers, not just once, but twice, three times, or even four times. So together with durable waterproof notebooks, so here, the same story, if everyone changed to two Imstone notebooks, that means again 400 grams, we can actually, again, save 3 million tons of paper. And here, of course, we can also save 60 million N trees every year, 
N tons of water as well as 1 million N tons of CO2, all in just one year, and N being the amount of books for one stone notebook. We have distributors in over 30 countries, and part of our distribution network portfolio, we have Ferrari, Google, White House, Sam Eleven, Mercedes-Benz, Starbucks, Disney. These are all part of our client base. We are also a very good replacement opportunity for PVC cards. Europe and US has forbidden the use of PVC. So here we can use our stone composite material for gift cards and room cards. So we are very good in these applications also. We also can be applied in wine labels, maps, textbooks, uh, the tray mats, Ziploc bags, tags, as well as wallpaper. So we are a gift for all occasions. We have official store on our website. Our website is uh, www.imstonegifts.com. Uh, don't buy anything from that site yet. Uh, but basically, it is our official site for and can be delivered to everywhere internationally. So, in, so on our website, we have one of the smaller notebooks, pocket size, at $6.99 USD per piece to door delivery international. We also have $13.99, uh, also $42, as well as uh, even a higher priced wireless charging uh, binder at $168 US per piece. And here, today, we can, we'll be giving all Let's Do It members worldwide a 20% discount. And not only that, we are looking to work affiliate cooperation with Let's Do It. So for every $10, we'll donate $1 back to Let's Do It. So feel free to uh, work with us and join our affiliate program. So how fast can we save? So at a 300,000 tons per year mesh production plant, our raw material cost will actually be about only 60% of the pulp paper. So here stone paper, we see that each ton is about 379 US dollars in raw material. Pulp paper is 750. Synthetic paper is at 1,121. So here at a mass production plant, 360,000 tons per year, our raw material has a huge advantage. And our other features include from tear resistant, safe, economical, water resistant, recyclable, soft, anti moth and photodegradable. So how is stone paper made? Here I will show you a 3 mm video. It will take you through the process of how stone paper is made. As, and, and as you can will see, the stone paper production requires large machineries. So here is the video.
Okay, so here in the video we saw that the uh, the rocks are being powdered, made into powder, and then it's uh, glued with our HDPE and made into pellets, and then made into paper, and then coating, and then through for cutting and ready for delivery. So here we have a high entry barrier. We are actually the only company in the world that does the research and development as well as the production for the machines and the material production itself. And through our net wide network of distributors, we also sell the machines making technology transfer as well as the selling the paper. So how much can we save? Basically, I have already lost count with the amount of times that we can reuse, but we can only save when we can contribute. That means when we have scale. Currently, we are only 20,000 tons per year in Taiwan. The facility you just saw, that's on a research, research scale. And then we'll be growing to 80,000 tons per year by 2024 because we'll be having a new plant opening around uh, later this year or next year. And then we will be having another production site of 200,000 200, tons per year. So it will take us to 280,000 tons per year by 2030. So our mission is keep building plants to keep our Mother Earth plants. So besides our own facilities, we also will be working on the stone paper plant transfers to other countries. So we have signed LOI, Letter of Intent Buyers, uh, in the US, Holland, Morocco, Romania, Bulgaria, Turkey, and Shandong, China, with the upcoming stone paper facilities plants worldwide, the first phase being 440,000 tons per year. So here we are looking to have potential cooperation with Let's Do It and we can have work from promoting the I'm Stone, being an affiliate, promoting the environmental message together to introducing I'm Stone or Stone Paper as corporate gifts in the local area. We also have investment opportunities in convertible bonds and equity investments. We also, of course, we have the plant introduction or we can transfer technology to the local country. And then we also open for other collaboration opportunities. So if you have any cooperation ideas, please let us know. So thank you for your time. Uh, here's a quick sharing of the stone paper in general. And we have a potential cooperation survey here with the QR code. So if you what, would like to scan the QR code and answer three quick questions, will be able to send you the related information your way. Okay, thank you.